Many industrial processes require some sort of data report, either in the form of a graphical image or a data file that can be post-processed in an application such as Excel. This video will show a simple batch report project using a RampSoak programmer controller. This project is included with the installation of SpecView. Click Select Create Project. Click the plus sign by Demos. Click the plus sign by SV Demos. And click Batch Report Demo 8500. Click Go Online. If your computer has an internet connection, it will try and connect to a controller in our Washington office. If a connection is not possible, some firewalls may block it, the automated part of the project shown in the video will not work. Click here to enter the project. To use this project there are four steps. Select, review and load the process parameters. Enter a batch or job number. Run the process and review the finished data. For the first step, click Profile Setup. The table shows the RampSoak profile parameters currently stored in the controller. To select the parameters for this test, click the Select Recipe button. Select 8-minute process. Here, bar charts have been used to give a graphical view of the profile. The values for target set point may be edited by clicking either on the numbers or on the bar chart. Review the recipe values and if they are correct click Send. The values are sent down to the controller. Click Back to Overview. The second step is to enter a batch number. This can be any combination of letters or numbers. However, if, as in this project, the name will be used as a file name, do not use characters like slash or question mark as these are illegal characters in file names. Note also that this batch ID could come from a barcode reader. The process is now ready to go. Click Run. Just to be safe, an Are You Sure prompt is used. Color dynamics have been used to clearly show the current state. If the program is held, the color changes. Click Run to resume the program. This project shows two of the types of trend chart available in SpecView. The continuous trend is set to a 10 minute time base and it keeps scrolling. Notice that there is a scroll bar that allows the chart to be scrolled back up to 10 screens. This feature is part of the historical replay option. Another feature allows the user to drag an area of the chart. Either zoom or export the underlying data to a CSV file are available options. Click on the chart and select back to return to the normal chart. Click back to overview. The trend chart batch button selects the new non-scroll chart. When the batch was started the chart was automatically cleared. The chart started on the left and when the trace reaches the right hand end the chart time base is increased. In this way the whole process will always be on the chart whether it lasts 10 minutes, 10 hours or 10 days. Notice too that chart notes have been added to the screen automatically. The second note here has been set to display the time between the two notes. 
When the process is complete, the batch ID is erased. This triggers the end of the batch. The chart is paused and printed to a JPEG file using the batch ID as the file name. In this project, at the same time, a CSV log report file is created. When the chart has been paused, it is possible to manually add a note to the chart. Click on the chart, select Add Chart Note. Click OK and there is the note. It can be required to use a password to enter a note and it does become part of the permanent record. Using File Manager the files can be reviewed. This project puts the JPEG files and the log report files into their own folders. This is the CSV data file for the process just completed. A companion chart note file is also created. This is the JPEG file for the process completed. It is also possible to use historical replay to replay a batch. Click Replay, Other, Find Batch Number. To replay this batch, run the day before, select it there and click the Select button. The screen is redrawn from the historical data. Chart notes are also included in the replay. When complete, chart notes may be added as before. SpecView's new non-scrolling charts and automatic chart notes can be an important tool in collecting and presenting process data. Thanks for watching.